In this video, we'll balance the equation for C5H8 plus O2. This is an organic combustion. We have carbon, hydrocarbon here, and then we have oxygen. We're getting CO2 and water as our products. So to balance the equation, let's count the atoms up. We have five carbons, hydrogens, we have eight, and then two oxygen atoms. Product side, we have one carbon, two of these oxygens here, but don't forget this one here. So we have three oxygen atoms and hydrogens, we just have the two. So we've counted our atoms up, now we can balance the equation. Probably best to leave the oxygens to last when you balance equations. Let's see, why don't we just put a five in front of the CO2. One times five, that would balance the carbon atoms. So those are done. We do need to update the oxygens though. So now we have two times five, that's 10, plus this one out here, that gives us 11. Okay, let's update the hydrogens. We could just put a four here. 2 times 4, that would give us 8. We've updated our hydrogens. Now for the oxygens, we need to update those. So we have 5 times 2, that would be 10, plus the 1 times the 4, so we have 14. And you can see why we've done the oxygens last. Now, since oxygen is just oxygen here, there's no carbon or hydrogen, if we change this, it won't change anything else. So we need 14, 2 times 7, that would give us 14 and we're done. This equation is balanced. The key here, leave the oxygens till last. That's usually a really good strategy with these combustion reactions. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C5H8 plus O2. Thanks for watching.